Hey, Minecraft Mentor here, and today we're going to be over or going over how to build the coker. This thing is an absolute beast. It takes a huge amount of resources, but uh, it does give you a lot of uh, coal coke or pe coke peat, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and it also produces diesel or so sulfurized diesel. So this thing is an absolute monster when it comes to making hop graphite. So uh, it's definitely worth making it along with the field but here's all the ingredients or all the pieces you need to build this everyone asked this and yes okay i finally did it for my very first time here is what it takes to do this build right anyways on to the build so we're going to start with our concrete in the corners here i'm using a glass platform so we can see underneath the machine because when i was building this i didn't realize we needed access to the bottom so build this on a platform or maybe raised a little bit i guess it's up to you but there's some outputs on the bottom so anyways we're going to go in the corners you notice we got a three gap we're going to go another three three here and just fill in all of our corners like so we're going to bring these up to three tall each one there we go Next, we want to put down our steel scaffolding in these gaps. Now, depending on where you put your skills or steel scaffolding uh, is going to be the front of the machine. You can see you have your heavy engineering blocks, light engineering blocks. This is going to be mostly your interface, your inputs and your outputs, especially right here, these two. So you're going to want to face those whatever way you want the machine to face. This will be our back side of the machine. So we'll fill those in like that. Uh, let's just toss this on. We're going to top it up along the outside with these just so I can get rid of this block. And these are concrete tile blocks or concrete tiles. There we go. Next, we want to get, uh, yeah, let's place this thing down right here. That's where we need that single block. Then we are going to place down our two light engineering blocks here. Then we're going to do heavies like that. Another couple heavies. And on top of those heavies are actually next to it is another light engineering block. Inside of here, we're gonna wanna put down a single light engineering block here in that little square, that, that uh, three by three, and one right there. In between these two, we're gonna place down a pipe like this. Then we're gonna fill in our floor with these uh, steel half slabs. So all the way around, steel half slabs. From here, we're gonna go up one block above the light engineering block place down our uh, these iron sheet metal. I was drawing a blank. Next, we want to go up with our uh, pipe. Oops, I get stuck here. Bring those across like that. Then we're going to uh, place down our treated wood actually here because we need a pipe here. It's going to go up, back. Then we're just going to fill it in all the way across to our uh, iron sheet metal here. Now, from here, we want to grab our fence. Let's get that guy. And we're going to put a fence on top of this heavy engineering block. This is one of them that I forgot when I was building this. Uh, I missed that, and I was searching all over this thing, trying to figure out getting everything right and all that. Oh, before we forget, redstone engineering block right above the steel block here. From here, we're just going to fill in all the outsides with our steel fencing. And there we go. Um, we pretty much have the base level here. I guess we could fill this in too because it's considered part of this level. So we're going to go like that. Same thing. We're going to fill in the three by three right above this. And then we are going to take our concrete tile and separate them. Whoop, not that. Here we go. Concrete tile. Separate it. That's this very first section. Next, we're going to start building up all of this. All right. We did miss something on this first layer and it's two pipes right here. But this is such a big build, just kind of keep in mind that we're going to maybe miss things some once in a while. Next, we're just going to go around in a circle. So this is layer 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, uh, I'll put this one together, but we kind of just can flash through this. So just keep it hollow all the way up until you reach the 10th layer right here, and then you're going to seal it off. So this one will be a full, full layer. The rest are going to be hollowed out. And then uh, I'll do this other tower just just real quick. We'll build we'll build a full one, but we're just gonna go up ten on each, level it out with that, and then we'll start building the outside scaffolding and all of that good stuff. But all right, for this next phase, we're gonna go right above this one next to the engineering block. We're gonna go up five. So one, two, three, four, five. Right here, we're gonna turn it, 
bring it around the corner and center it. And I guess we could bring it all the way up too. So we're done with that pipe. At the same exact level, we're gonna put scaffolding on the top layer. So you can see it's just at the top layer of the pipe. You don't wanna do it down here, you'll mess it up. So up in here, we're gonna bring that scaffolding through the center and we're gonna wrap that around here. Leave this one empty, then keep going all the way around like that. Next, we're gonna to wanna to bring our fences up on the corners like so. They're not gonna attach in there, so don't worry about it. Like that. Same thing on this center point. We're just going to connect these in all the way up to the scaffolding like that. Once again, in this corner, bring up your uh, bring up your steel fence. Steel fence. Now from here, we're gonna drop down one block. So one block gap, and you're just gonna do the same thing. We're gonna fill it in. We're also going to place these in the center, just like we did with the concrete. Same thing on the other side here. We're just going to bring it up all the way to the things. And one block down, we're gonna wrap the fence around the entire building. Now, you're wonder, wondering why I put a gap here because we need steel scaffolding on this part. So opposite side of the this, we're gonna go up one block and we're gonna bring our steel scaffolding all the way up to the top. So you can see right here, it ends out right there we're not worrying about anything above this just yet we're only getting this part done so now that we got that we got to make sure just double check come through make sure we got our steel scaffolding on all the spots and and our fences and everything um we're looking pretty good now so next we'll go up two blocks from there and we're going to do the same thing with this steel fencing so one two on that third block place this down, make sure you get the corners, as you can see right here. So one, two, three. Sorry, I do need that that little helper on the side. Wait, am I doing this right? Yeah, one, two, okay, <laughs> just, just double check, why not? It's not gonna hurt anything. In the center here, we're gonna do the same thing like we did down there. We're gonna bring this all the way up to the top. You can see it runs straight up through. Bring your fencing around. Don't fill in this gap with fencing. I did that too. That was one of my little mistakes that I, uh, did and I couldn't figure out why my machine wasn't getting together. It's because I clicked right here instead of right there. So we've got this all brought around. Bring your posts up in the corners. We do put a post on top of the pipe here and in the centers. And one more right here. So I'm gonna look this over and then we will move on to the next layer, which is from here on up. And then we'll see if this thing actually goes together. It's okay to miss a block here and there. There is a lot going on in this machine and uh, it's not easy to, or well, it is easy. It's very easy to miss a layer or something that that uh, is in here. So it's okay to miss one. You just gotta really look it over and, and double check it. But I'm gonna double check this and see if we got everything and then we'll move up to the top layer. All right, let's see if we can get this one in one shot. Uh, we're gonna take the pipe. Actually, we're gonna take down a light engineering block on the top of each tower. I was getting ahead of myself there. Then we're going to break that. I didn't mean to bring that all the way up. We actually need scaffolding in the middle. So that was one of the mistakes we made and we forgot to put this layer of scaffolding all around the outside. We're also going to be placing down fences all around the entire outside of this layer, even not by the pipe actually, but everywhere else except. Next, we're gonna bring our pipe up over into our light engineering block. We're gonna bring it over and then by the looks of it uh we go straight up so i think it was eight blocks so one two three four five six seven eight that would be the top of our tower so two three eight all right perfect so from here we're going to go inside so we're going to go on top of these and we're going to go up three so right here three three same thing all the way whoops See, it's so easy to click in the wrong spot, especially when you're working with fences and just make sure you get your three on all six sides. Next, uh, on top of this, we wanna do scaffolding. We're just gonna wrap it around again, like we did in the previous layer, but this time we're gonna go all the way around like that. So we should have something looking like this at this point. Um, from here, you can see uh, we continue those posts up three again. And we're going to bring them all the way around once again. So we're getting to look like this. And I think 
we need to actually fill in the middle too. So let's get these three blocks we missed. So and then we're going to go one, two, one, two. Now this is probably the largest mega build. Or I, I don't even I call it a mega build because it is a massive machine. I thought the distillation towers were tall. This thing dwarfs them. Look how high up we are. But anyways, uh, we're on this layer. Now this is the final layer and we also need to bring our scaffolding up. So I must have missed a spot right about here. One block up above or adjacent to that. We need to do this. I messed that up. So scaffolding on the opposite side of the pipe again, all the way up to this top layer right here, right before uh, this one right here. So it's okay to make mistakes. We even, we keep those in there just because, you know, it, we're not, we're not perfect here. We just try to get it done. And sometimes you got to troubleshoot things and work with it and see what happens. So, all right. So by the looks of it, we just need to surround this with a fence. And when, if we're very, 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 very lucky, uh, we should actually think this. One, two, three. Something looks off here, doesn't it? One, two, three. Oh, okay. So there's our mistake there on that one. We place these directly down on top of the on top of the lower post. They actually need to be up. So that would be that would be one of them we're gonna troubleshoot. So let's go through. Bam. And now it looks a little bit better, right? Block that out. Put down your scaffolding here. You're probably gonna have to pause this video a lot and work through things, uh, maybe watch a little bit of the video ahead of time, just so you can see where we made mistakes and we can adjust those, you know? So if everything went right, which I'm, I'm kind of thinking it might not, we should be able to click this concrete block right next to our wood, next to the pipe, it will create the machine. And it didn't, so, okay, I'm gonna look through this, see where we're missing out, what did we do wrong, and then we'll come back and we'll show you exactly where that is. Just just to make sure we uh, got everything right. And so one of the problems, I instantly spotted it because we did the exact same thing up above. We accidentally put these on top of these posts when they should be on the upper layer of the slab or the upper layer of the block. So just did a little quick fix. This one should be an easy one. And hopefully once we're finished with that one, it will be completed. So let's see, give it another shot. Nope. All right, we got to look for another problem. All right, I think we've honed in on everything that was wrong uh, right here. We On this layer, we forgot to bring these posts up when we moved this, I think it was. We need to move these posts, or not move them, but add posts on the, all sides right here. They weren't there. And then finally, uh, we forgot to fill this back in when we moved this up a layer. So those were our two problems there, or three or whatever it was. Now, I think if we give this thing a click, Let's go. We got our full coker. Uh, thing. So now that we've made it this far, we're going to input our bitumen right here, which is produced from our distiller when we uh, process crude oil. I just like to put a chest right here, but you can do whatever you want. We're going to fill it up with that. And we are going to need water for this to process. So you can see it's slowly uh, pumping that into its slot right here. Now, these are our two tanks. We're gonna connect water in right next to it. It does need water to run it, and we're just pumping that out of a tank over here. Uh, here's our redstone controls, so if you wanna turn it on and off. We also have our power port right here. So I'm just gonna connect in a creative uh, accumulator. Now, I should mention you cannot use low uh, voltage here. You have to use medium or high, and if you look at these plugs, they look very similar to a diesel engine. This thing produces not only uh, peat coke, but it also produces sulfurized diesel. And if you look in here, we can see that it's filling up the tank. It won't start running until this tank is completely to the top, I believe. And then it'll fill up its second tank. So they kind of alternate in their production. When this gets all the way up to the top, let's see if we can just fill it up like that speed up our process a little bit. All right, so now both tanks are completely filled. It's gonna take a little bit for this one to work. And you can see the sulfurized diesel is producing at the bottom here. And it's gonna slowly work its way up as it's heating this fluid. And then when it gets to the top, it will uh, 
drain the diesel and it'll also leave the uh, coal coke or, or peat coke inside the machine and it's going to wash it. So uh, I'll just be back when we get to the washing point so we can see that in action and then the coal coke actually coming out of the machine itself or, or peat coke. So we're almost to that point and now you can see it's draining off our diesel into the side tank here. It's going to wash or use our water to wash the peat coal. And once that gets up to the top, it's actually going to start automatically outputting these. So if you can see the output, we can, can we get the automation? Oh yeah, here we go. So it's pouring out of this tower into here and then this kind of compresses it down into the peat coal. It'll do the same exact thing over here. So this is really, really nice touch. Immersive Petroleum uh, definitely has a lot of good Good things like that and here we go and it's going to alternate so that one's going to clean itself out and then this one then that one then this one and it's going to continue this process as long as you're feeding it with vitamin and water now you might be wondering where do we move our diesel out we need to power this thing right so we're going to uh, take our diesel it's this good little connector right here with the orange that's going to output our diesel and i'm currently having it sent on over through this pipe into the high pressure uh, refinery unit so if we give this water, it's going to clean our sulfurized diesel into regular diesel. Right now I just have it burning it off because I don't really have a use for it. But uh, it'll here, let's break that. Now it's actually making diesel and you can send this diesel, you may have guessed, into a diesel generator or a portable generator to produce power in order to have these machines continue running. That's pretty much it for this one. I will say this does consume a lot of energy. I don't know exactly how much, but... Uh, if you found this helpful, like, comment, subscribe, and don't be afraid to go check out the Discord or comment down below if you have any questions on how to build this.